Okay, so I picked up this bike at the second hand store. It had these rusty rims. See there's some rust on them. So what I did is basically I took some Ospo. See if I can find it here. And this is Jasco Prime and Prep. And we have some armor all tire foam. And so I clean these up with steel wool. I'm gonna finish it up with Scotch Bright. Basically, uh, the Ospo Prime and Prep is already dried. I'm gonna paint it with this metallic gold. The tires are sort of worn, but Supposedly they're still good. I tire phoned them up and it'll look pretty nice after I paint it gold. And so here's the bike over here. It's a pretty nice one for 20 bucks. I bought Schwinn aluminum tubing and cranks are good on it the shocks are stiff on it though um, I got it just because I like a dual suspension uh, these here I'll be able to probably uh, bring back to life with some silicone spray spray inside there pound on it a little bit and so I'll have to raise the seat up for my own personal use and then the chain I lubed up I sprayed uh, I sprayed the chain down with this stuff here it was at the dollar store these are pretty cool dollar store you get a little can like that and then I finished it up with this lithium grease, white lithium grease, and so the chain looks pretty good right now. So these have these little lips in them that keep them inside here. They look pretty rusted. What I should do is probably hit that with a little. Uh, steel wool so that this rust doesn't affect the seals inside here but I got my heavy-duty silicone that I was going to spray in here um, so the thing you got to watch out for is if these shocks are flat if they're flat when you get them then then it could be harder to get going so these apparently are not flat so I think I've got a chance to bring these back to life so yeah what I'll probably have to do is take this wheel off soak these real good and then uh, kind of hammer on them a bit now you could probably use WD-40 but I like the idea of using the silicone because uh, if there are seals in here then the silicone is not going to hurt the seals. And the silicone is good for other stuff too. It will actually bring shine to this. I don't particularly want it too shiny because my experience is if it's too shiny then you got see there's a $20 tag on it I still got on there. If it's too shiny somebody else might want it so I don't particularly want it too shiny but I'm just gonna bring it back to life a little bit here.
and the silicone helps to protect it from rust as well. So. I'll just have to work on those. I, I had some shocks that went flat on me and uh, eventually what I did is I actually ended up putting a piece of foam in between here to keep the, uh, the shocks up. And it actually brought them back to life a little bit. Uh, and the thing about these shocks is that unless you're in love with the bike, then it's probably not worth putting new shocks on. But this is a pretty good frame here. It's probably worth probably worth doing something with because it's all aluminum. Okay, so here's the action. So these are pretty much going to come back to life, I think. And that's the way I did it. Yeah, so they're, they're alive again at this point, so they're running up and down a bit, so they seat up is basically as high as safe for me. I like, basically you want to be able to stretch out on the bike is what you need to do. You need to have your foot on the pedal, straight on the pedal, and the seat right up in your crotch with the legs straight. That's the way I understand to uh, set the seat height. I like to pull the, the handlebars up as high as they'll go just because for comfort, for comfort, that's just the way I feel about it. And so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the way I set my seat and my handlebars. You want to be able to stretch out your entire body when you're pedaling, basically. 